feels new and strange at the same time because I've been away for three weeks. Yes, I know I haven't posted a single video in this channel for you guys in a period of three weeks. The truth of the matter is I have been creating content, but later on I sit down, scrutinize it, and the overthinker in me manages to convince me that this content is not good enough to upload in your channel. That's how I ended up not uploading content for you guys for the past three weeks and here i am convincing myself that 2022 is my year this is the year whereby we are going to actualize our youtube dreams no see me the overthinker in me the spirit of overthinking is trying to take over this head but i'm not going to allow it anymore so i finally decided to come back so this is me repackaging myself, repositioning myself for a comeback in this YouTube streets. By the way, how many of you missed me? Because I have missed you guys big time. Minus you, there is no journey begun with Eva YouTube channel. So, good news, your girl is back. For those who are seeing this face for the first time, my name is Eva, a content creator currently based in the eastern part of Kenya. It is called Ukampani. So most of the times you'll hear me mentioning the term Ukampani, which some people refer to as the UK side of Kenya. I'll be telling you telling you more about the UK part of Kenya. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed and you love more content about the UK part of Kenya, now this is where you're going to get it wrong. This is where you're going to get the most authentic content from yours truly, Madam Eva. So here I am. I am back, guys. I don't know how many of you missed me. I've told you guys that I've been creating content and I end up not posting it here. Those are some of the struggles of beginner content creators, guys. Overthinking, not uh, being confident in your, in your content. You're like, this is not good enough. You know what? I am the preacher of this content creation exercise. It's an evolving exercise whereby you grow a step by step. And I'm shocked how it is sunk in me that my content is not good enough. My content is good, not good enough. That's how I ended up not posting for you guys. But yes, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Who missed me now? Give this video a like. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're seeing me for the first time, should I reintroduce myself again? My name is Eva, the host of Journey Began with Eva YouTube series. If you need the gist, the authentic content from the UK side of Kenya, as I have mentioned, you have arrived. You have arrived, though. This is where you're going to get it as you're supposed to get it okay yeah so those are the struggles of beginner content creators not being confident in your in your content but it is a process i give it up to the content creators who manage to post video uh, videos daily thrice twice in a week guys it is a lot of work it is a lot of work. So if you hear content creators calling on new people to support them, please do so. If you love what they do, if you find their content helpful, if you can relate to their content, the least you can do is to subscribe to their channels and give their videos a thumbs up, share the videos out. Yeah, those are some of the things you can do to, mo to motivate your favorite content creators to keep creating more content. So while I was away, I managed to attend an event just the other day. It was a, a commemoration of the World Tuberculosis Day. And uh, one thing I got to uncover was that TB diagnosis and treatment is free in all public health facilities here in Kenya. For those of you who reside in Kenya and you didn't know that, 
I thought it wise to share with you my amazing journey began with Eva Yuto family because it's all about informing, motivating, educating, all of those good things. So I attended I attended that event, it was eye-opening, I got to learn some new stuff. You know, the moment you you assume that you know everything, that's where you go wrong. Every day, I keep telling you guys that every day is a learning day. So from that uh, that event, I got to to establish that tuberculosis diagnosis and treatment is free in all public health facilities here in Kenya. And like before, times have changed. These days, you don't ignore any form of discomfort on your body. If you like, if you feel like any part of your body is not moving as it's supposed to, if you ex you are experiencing some pain which you cannot explain where it came from, just pause whatever you're doing and walk into a unhealth facility. You know, health is wealth. If you are not healthy, then you cannot look for that world you are dreaming of every day and night. Another thing about health, please get insurance. Health insurance is important. It's not every day that you'll have liquidity, every day that you'll have money, whereby if anyone in your family falls sick or yourself you fall sick, you'll have money to fund that. Please, if you are not enrolled in a health insurance uh, cover, please do so. The National Health Insurance Fund is only 500 Kenya shillings for God's sake. For 30 days, you can manage at least to work hard and spare 500 shillings to secure your health because sickness can make you go bankrupt in a period of less than a week you have seen people suffer you have seen people spend millions on sickness and the person ends up even dying that is sad so if you are able to raise at least 500 kenya shillings make it a point of paying that money to help support your health cover Go get yourself plus your loved ones a medical insurance cover. And by the way, guys, we have come a long way and I appreciate each and every one of you. You have seen where we have come from and it hasn't been easy. So once again, I appreciate you all. Journey began with Eva YouTube Army. On that note, I feel that it's about time that we come up with a name for us so as i was thinking through i settled on champions i don't know how you feel about that so leave a comment down below in the comment section if you have other suggestions if you think that champions is going to be the best fit our best title then leave a comment down below in the comment section whatever will whatever we will agree on is going to be our title because you know your wish is my command if you suggest that we said settle on a champions whomst am i whomst am i whomst am i let me repeat that i don't know whether you get the joke whomst am i to refuse so i am rallying behind champions i don't know what your suggestions are leave them in the comment section below let's engage my champions okay let's engage if you want us to settle on the name champions if you have other suggestions bring them on bring them on i am ready your host is ready so yeah i think it's about time that we get ourselves a name so leave a comment leave your suggestions your comment in the comment section below by the way if you're still watching up to this far and you haven't this 
you haven't given this video a thumbs up what are you waiting for give us a thumbs up it goes a long way in supporting this channel so give the video a thumbs up remember to subscribe at the end of this video if you haven't done so because this is a happy family you will love it here this is a peaceful family i promise you that you're going to love it in here welcome to the family of champions let me show you some of the content i created from that day though it was not that uh, conclusive but at least i did something this is one of the things i've been holding on to imagine that event was held on 24th of march and here i am talking about the same event in april wow shows that someone really needs to change her habits consistency is about discipline in 2021 we reported 77,854 tb cases compared to 72,659 cases which were notified in 2020 in terms of the burden uh, counties based on tb case notification rates per 100,000 the top high burden counties for tb are isiolo siaya mombasa embu Meru, Nairobi, Turkana, Samburu, and Lamu, with a case notification rate of 164 per 100,000 uh, people. The bottom 10 counties which have low case notification rates are Egero Mayakwet, Kwale, Kakamega, Kith, Kilifi, Nyandarua. This is this is a very healthy meal. We have the maize, the beans, some greens, spinach, then uh, some carrots. I added one tomato, and it tastes so good, guys. So good. If you ever visit Ukavani, this is a must-have. It's a local staple food in Kampala. So whenever you happen to visit Ukavani. Ensure that you enjoy some Mudokai!